So welcome back to another edition of Five Minutes on K-12 Online Learning with, and today our with is Dr. Allison Powell. So Allison, can you start off by telling us a little bit about yourself? Hi. Um, yes, I am a former teacher, both in a face-to-face classroom and in an online and blended um, setting, and also started a couple of online schools and then went on to do some research and set some standards um, for the field and promising practices and shared out a lot of information to help the field of online and blended learning. Um, And I'm continuing to do that in my new role um, with the Digital Learning Collaborative. Very good. Now, I know you spent a long time with with iNACL and you've done a lot of work with Evergreen and uh, now with the Digital Learning Collaborative, you're working both directly with teachers as well as with the school leaders that are working with teachers. So you've had a lot of experience in teachers coming to this that might not have much experience in this environment. And we've got a whole whack of them right now that are just starting or maybe a week or two or at the most three weeks into this. Is there any advice that you'd give them? Yes. Um, This is a scary, it can be overwhelming and scary. There's a lot of information coming at you and we're not expecting you to be experts in online teaching. I think we've seen in the field, uh, they're distinguishing between online and remote teaching. Um, And I think that's a good Um, way to distinguish it because an online teacher is typically giving a lot of professional development before they get started. A lot of them have a mentor going in and you're as a classroom teacher just thrown into this and you're getting a million different resources coming at you. It's like you're drinking from the fire hose. So I'd say just put down that fire hose for right now and take a deep breath and kind of I think the most important thing right now is to reach out to your kids and communicate with them, find out, kind of do like a little needs assessment, like, do they have food? Are they safe at home? Um, Do they have the devices and internet um, in order to access content? Um, And just mentally, how are they doing? I think content is secondary now, Um, now that we're getting a little further along into it. Now they might be ready for some content. and Maybe your school has some of that stuff set up for you already. Others, like you might be the one that has to go out and find that. But um, just talking to a bunch of my friends who are teachers and just teachers in the fields, like you're an expert at teaching. Like you know what you're doing in the classroom, how to teach. Um, Now it's just a new environment. And so um, we are putting together some resources um, for school leaders and stuff at the DLC. Um, there's a lot of free stuff out there, so you shouldn't have to reinvent the wheel uh, with open educational resources, a lot of free tools, and I'm sure a lot of Michael's other interviewees have shared specific tools, Um, but kind of working with your teams at your schools, like you don't just have to work with the kids, but you can work with your other teachers to create content, create lessons, and it doesn't always have to be virtual. Like, I don't think you should take like the bell to bell schedule from eight to four and make your kids do that. You don't want to sit them in front of a computer for eight hours a day. Um, There's lots of real world activities you could do with them. Like you could help have them help you cook um, and do some math in there or work on your budget with them. There's lots of virtual field trips you can take them on or kind of service learning. Like you could sew masks with them and that's teaching them a new skill too. So it doesn't just have to be like, the standards and the curriculum that you're working on. Be flexible and give them some of those real world experiences because learning, like as we know now, can happen anytime and anywhere. (laughs) All right. Um, Over the years, I know that you've engaged with a lot of parents as well that um, had their children involved in, in online learning, many of which were new to the environment themselves. Um, while parents are always a partner in the, the educational process, we're asking a great deal of them right now in, in these stay-at-home situations that we find ourselves in. Um, what's some advice that you'd give to them? Um, I think like the family engagement piece is one of the big things that we're seeing um, all over. If you're on social media, you're seeing parents are really struggling and really appreciating their teachers. Um, now and know the importance of what they are. Um, 
but sharing some of those resources with them, even checking in, not just with the kids, but maybe checking in with the parents, sharing some resources you found or different ways that um, they can help their students learn at home, examples of schedules that you've created, um, and knowing that things aren't always going to be perfect at home, like they don't have to stick to those schedules, but giving them the resources to support their kids. Um, and also like expectations for both the kids and the parents, I think are important. Um, so I do think this is a real opportunity for parents. Um, your kids are observing you and how you're working at home and how you're reacting to the situation. So you are their model um, and how you respond to this crisis and the pandemic and how you set up your work schedule, they're observing that. Um, and so keeping that schedule going um, and knowing that it's okay to veer off of it, um, this might be a good time to set some of those learning and personal goals and development for both of you um, and how you can you guys could work through them together as well. So kind of keeping a routine, whether, and we know it will change day by day, but um, keeping that going and some constants in the life and being that role model for your student and knowing that that teacher there is a partner um, with you in the learning. All right, perfect. Well, thank you very much, Allison. This has been <laughs> another edition of Five Minutes on K-12 Online Learning with Dr. Allison Powell. Thank you.